Hey guys, today's video is going to be on my all-time non-makeup beauty favorite. So I've got some hair care, some skin care, random body products, oral products. You've seen some of these things maybe in my empties video, which I'll link up here, but I just wanted to talk about them. And I'm not going to talk in great detail because I have a lot of things to show you, but if I have any related videos, I will be linking them up here. So um, this might not really be in a particular order, so I'm just going to get started. And my favorite hand soap would be this Dial Soap in the scent Cherry Blossom and Almond. This smells amazing. I would love this in a body spray. I just I just love the scent of this. I also really like Bath and Body foaming hand soaps, but I, um, I'm going to do a whole separate video on my favorite Bath and Body Works product, so I'm not going to talk about it here. But this is my favorite. It's not very expensive. It's an awesome price for a soap. And like I said, it is cherry blossom and almond. It has, it's an amazing scent. Next, I'm going to move on to two oral hygiene products. The first is my favorite toothpaste, and that is the Crest 3D White. I've tried the Colgate Advanced White, and I've tried a whole bunch of different toothpaste. I'm all about trying to use whitening teeth products. Luckily for me, I don't drink coffee or tea, so I, as long as I brush them really well, I'm, I have decently, decently white teeth. Not as white as I would like them, of course, but they're pretty decent, so I like this toothpaste. And then also for whitening, I have a whitening mouthwash, and this is the Equate Whitening Pre-Brush Rinse. So you put this, you rinse your mouth, mouth with this first, and it's like, it kind of like sticks to the plaque, which is kind of gross, um, and then you just brush your teeth like normally, so. I really love this and it's a huge bottle and it's not very expensive either. So now I'm going to show you some hair products. I actually have two shampoos, two conditioners, and two styling products to show you. So I've not found my perfect shampoo and conditioner um, until now and now I have two shampoos and two conditioners and I switch off between the two so my hair doesn't get too used to one. The first set I have are the clear hair. Um, clear scalp and hair therapy for the damage and recolor pair because my hair is very damaged from heat and from coloring so i love these they're really moisturizing and nice but um i find that sometimes it's too much moisture because i do have really greasy roots so i will use i use the conditioner a lot but i'll use the shampoo like twice a week um once or twice a week because it's really, really moisturizing. And then I like to use the conditioner all the time. And my other shampoo and conditioner, the shampoo that I use all the other times is a little bit more dry, and that's why I like it. And this is the Suave Keratin for color damaged hair. So um, this is only a couple bucks. This is only a couple bucks and I really like this. So, um, you know, I go between the two because that's a little bit more dry. So it depends on what my hair needs. And then if I need really deep moisture and I do this, um, my ends get really tangly and stuff. So I'll put just a little bit of this on my ends probably every other time that I shower. And this is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. This is only a couple bucks. This is absolutely amazing. If I could recommend one product for you guys, it would definitely be this. Now for my two styling products. I have a video on my top three hair products, which I'll link up here so you can see this in more detail. The first is the Suave Dry Shampoo. I've tried many different ones. I've tried Tresemme, I've tried Psst, um, and I don't like either of them. Tresemme sucks completely. Psst is okay. It leaves a terrible white cast. This can leave a white cast, but it doesn't always. And I find that it's really easy. I don't even use a brush. I just use my fingers and rub it in like this, and I find that it goes away really easily. This is an awesome dry shampoo. I cannot live without this, and it is an amazing price. And then my favorite hairspray is the Garnier Fructis volumizing hairspray and it is the level three the level three is the only one that's volumizing i've tried level four and i did not like it near as much as this so this is one that i always go for and it lasts me a long time because i don't usually curl my hair but i do love that hairspray a lot so next i just got some random body products and then i'm going to finish up with skincare so first thing you heard me talk about in my um March favorites, I believe, and this is the Mitchum Smart Solid Clinical Performance Deodorant. This is still awesome. Nothing is going to keep me from sweating completely, but I do think that this works really well to help control um, my sweat. So I definitely recommend this. Um, I 
like how I said I found this I went through the aisles and looked for the deodorant with the highest percentage of antiperspirant and uh, how much does this have 20% antiperspirant so thought that was pretty awesome and I was glad this was this was the only clinical strength perform I mean this was the only clinical strength deodorant that didn't have it in like that little twist up container and I hate those because I feel like as soon as I sweat it slides right off the same with like gel type deodorant so I thought this was perfect and it is clear which is awesome so I don't have to worry about white stains on my shirt because I get those all the time so this is awesome deodorant and I definitely recommend it and it is unscented by the way and my favorite body wash is Bath and Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom. I've had um, I've had a couple of these. This is my favorite scent. Like I said, I'm going to make a whole video on my favorite Bath and Body products, but I wanted to mention this. I used to honestly just use a bar of soap. I wasn't really care. I didn't really care about it, but then I got a small bottle of these in like a Christmas um, gift set, and I really loved it. So I bought the full size. You can see I'm running pretty low, and I just really really enjoy this. And then my favorite razor. I know this is strange, but I do have a favorite because I've tried a bunch of them and this is actually a disposable razor, but it's amazing. This is the Bic Soleil, S-O-L-E-I-L. And this comes with a pack of four razors. It's a yellow, a light orange, a bright orange, and a red. And I honestly, I use each, I use one razor for my underarms, one for my legs, one for my bikini area, and I have one for travel. I know that sounds a little crazy, but it honestly keeps them lasting a long time. And I would rather purchase these every couple months than buy a razor and have to pay for new um, heads for it because those are expensive. Like, I don't know why razor heads cost so much. And I think that there's, um, there's three blades on here, works really well, so I definitely love this razor. I know that's kind of strange to mention, but it was something that was definitely my favorite, so I wanted to mention it just in case anybody was looking for a good and expensive razor. My next two products are feminine products, which I know as well might be weird to talk about, but it's not like I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm just going to talk to you about my favorite. So my favorite tampons are the Playtex Sport. This box has 18 regular and 18 super. I usually only need regular, but... Um, it's nice to have options and I always keep a couple of these in my backpack in case I need them or in case a friend needs them because sometimes you just don't know when it surprises you. So um, I just really like these. I think that they're, I, don't, I mean, I don't know how you can like or dislike tampons. Um, I like that they are, um, they're easy to use. They're comfortable I don't know how to, to talk about it but I think these are awesome and I always repurchase these I don't use any other brand and I do not wear pads I just feel like it's a diaper it makes me feel it makes me feel uncomfortable but um, I always as a backup will wear a panty liner as well and at night I only wear these because I'm not really moving around a whole much up oh a whole much. I'm not really moving around a whole bunch. Anyway, these are the Equate, which is just the Walmart brand. Um, regular panty liners. I'll show you one. They're really thin. Um, it looks big right now, but compared to underwear, it's pretty small. I mean, it is the right size. This is regular. Um, I'm sure you can get long as well, but these are perfect. And I wouldn't rely on this on itself because you can see it's very thin. This will not be a substitute for a pad or anything. But these are definitely my favorites. They're really perfect for me. They're comfortable um, and I love them. So now that that, now to get out of the weird things, I'll finish up with skincare. I do have a whole skincare routine, which I'll link up here if you want to see that. But I just want to talk about my standout products. The first thing I don't believe I mentioned in my skincare routine, and those are my makeup remover and wipes. I've tried a whole bunch. I've even tried to use just regular eye makeup remover. I don't like it near as well as these wipes. And these these can be a little expensive, so I recommend going to Costco because you can buy a big box that has like four of these, um, three fill packs, and then two travel packs or something for the price of like two. So it's it's a really good deal so I definitely recommend that especially if you go through these as quickly as I do there's only 25 in here so I go through them pretty quickly and mine are just the original 
ones and I think that they're amazing for taking off eye makeup and face makeup. Um, I Since I've been trying to use other things, I definitely have noticed how much that I love these and definitely recommend them. And next we'll move on to the face cleansers in the morning. This is what I use. It is the Clean Clear Morning Burst Shine Control Facial Cleanser. Um, this is for oily skin. Honestly, I feel like most of these cleansers end up being the same. I don't need anything heavy duty. I really do just need something to get the grime off my face. And I think that this works really wonderfully and I always repurchase this. And in the shower, I use a scrub so it's not as rough. And this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Shine Control Facial Scrub. And so this is the same product, one's a cleanser and one's a scrub. Like I said, I use the scrub in the shower. And I think that this is awesome for cleaning my face. Recently I've been trying other things and definitely think, you know, that is an awesome product. And then, like on the weekend sometimes, if I'm too lazy to use one of those or I don't want to make a sloppy mess, um, like getting water all over the place, then I'll use my Clearasil Rapid Action Pads. These are absolutely amazing at taking off makeup. Um, they can be a little rough, so be careful when you're wiping your face. Whoops, it's dripping everywhere. But um, I made a mess. But I really love these. These are really awesome if you are lazy or it, this would be good to keep. These do leak, so um, every time I've gotten them, they leak. So I always put them in a little sandwich bag when I'm traveling with them. But I think that'd be something good to keep in your locker or your gym bag if you play a sport or just for gym. If you want to rinse off your face afterwards, if you feel like you're really sweaty, I feel like that's a good thing to use. And if, to keep you from like the sweat clogging your pores and giving you acne, which I know all about. I've got too much. Anyways, next I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video with my two moisturizers. My favorite moisturizer ever is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. This has salicylic acid in it as well, so this helps treat acne. And this is just a really, I have oily skin, but even though you have oily skin, you do still need to moisturize. And I moisturize with a light moisturizer, which would be perfect for oily skin. And also it works for my acne prone skin so I think that this is awesome and I always repurchase it it is extremely light but it still moisturizes your skin that way your body doesn't have to make up for that lack of moisture by producing more oils and then my winter moisturizer and like now I'm just using it as a nighttime moisturizer is the Cetaphil moisturizing cream this is a huge container I have been using this for a while and I feel like I'm never gonna run out of this um, they didn't have a small size so I was forced to buy the big one and it was $10 so that might sound a little expensive but you don't have to get the big one but th I think this would be really good for dry skin and like I said this works really well in the winter and I always use it at night so this is my morning moisturizer and my nighttime moisturizer so that is it. I hope that you guys like this. I'm sorry if it was kind of long. I had a lot of things to show you. So please leave a comment down below of your all-time non-makeup beauty favorites. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.